start double life Nick Marda here and uh, today we we talk about um, all the tools all the important tools that you need to grow yourself your business and your relationship so hope you guys can hear me good I can come closer this is a beautiful beautiful day what are the tools that you need to grow your business Nick Marda here right now we uh, we talk about before the mentor how it's important the mentorship that you're following that your leader your kind of lights to follow and what's the good mentor, mentor doing usually it's give you the tools the right tools to grow your business in a better way but sometimes not all the mentor just give those tools because it, there's already a system so if there is already a system there will be already a tools that you need to follow so what are those tools to grow yourself could be everything everything is a tools everything is everything can be helpful for you but I follow a deep, really good line that means there's usually three kind of tools uh, one is videos the other one is audios the other one is books always important to have to follow and don't skip all of it it's important to follow all these tools and use every day all of it videos audios books for example I want to show you an example I tend to I bring my books here how oh, you can see there's my books when I'm fishing because everybody needs to read at least at least um, 10 pages a day at least on your favorite book it could be everything for your growth personal growth for your books for your um, business comedy everything so what's the um, my personal my personal experience with books are I'm gonna start with books because it's the basic if you don't read at least 10 pages a day you will never go nowhere you're stuck I'm sure about this I don't care what you think but I'm sure if you don't read books you're stuck in your life in everything business lives and relationships um, I my personal goals for this year is to read at least 10 books this year so it's April so just going four months and this my this my fourth books and I just started so I'm doing good for now let's see this is pretty it's more than 500 pages so let's see how we do in this month I think I'll make it this month so I'm going good on books and my personal I hate to read was my fear reading was my something I would never do when somebody explained me I was going to do reading every day I said okay I need to try so the secret is to start to read, to start to create the habit to read, not to read. It's not important to read, but it's always important to create a habit to read. Because after more than 30, 35 days, you will never stop reading. If I don't read my page, my I read almost 20 pages uh, a day, almost, if I'm, if I'm busy, more if I'm not like today if you don't so I create this habit just start with one page a day or less just open the book open the book for 15 seconds or 50 seconds what's better and start to create a habit it's before go to bed in a, in a really important timing for example after eating or after I don't know before go to bed or in the really exactly timing that you can start to create this habit so your mind start to say oh every day every day this okay tomorrow I will not skip it because it's my habit my new things so first two times will be really hard then you start to eat what you're doing and then start to become really soft and you cannot reach it be impatient to read, be kind of obsessed to read and um, the first important things in all of those tools 
So my experience, I totally hate reading and now I cannot stop reading. It's amazing reading. And it's amazing the difference when you start reading. I started reading two years ago and I never stopped. And that my personal growth is growing like never. The second tool is really important is audios. Audios, listening, something, audio books, um, I don't know, stories, podcasts. You need to listen. You need to uh, start to create a habit to listen a different way from TVs or radio or stuff that you don't need it. You need to start bombarding your mind with a positive um, things and things that you needed in that time for example i listen a lot of audiobooks and not only reading just listening or what my read they read as affirmation i listen a lot of positive affirmation affirmation is i think it's it's not a tool because it's included in audios because affirmation you can spiritually say it in yourself or listen i listen a lot of you affirmation you can find on youtube or other social media and like facebook there's a lot of it the you affirmation are so impressive and so amazing so when i'm working when i'm doing other stuff i'm uh, bombarding my subconscious with a you affirmation this you affirmation are meaning like seven hours of people that say to you you're amazing you're positive you're awesome you're beautiful you're smart you're rich you're positive you're awesome you're beautiful you're rich you're awesome you're beautiful if you repeat all those times all those times you start to create a new paradigms in yourself when you start to feel amazing rich beautiful and all the the you affirmation say so that's important to don't confuse with the i am affirmation i am affirmation you need to sell by yourself you don't have to listen because if you listen somebody say i'm beautiful you say oh he is beautiful, I'm not beautiful. Oh, she is beautiful, I'm not beautiful. So, you need to start to listen audiobooks about you affirmation. So, you are beautiful, that somebody else said you. And you can record yourself, it's the same. It's another, the mindset don't recognize yourself voice. It's, it looks like another person is listening. But when you start to um, don't listen, I am affirmation. I am affirmation you have to say by yourself, inside yourself. So, and the last tool is uh, videos. You need to bomb bombarding yourself, your view, your image, your vision with the videos. What kind of videos? Every kind of videos. What you really want, what you achieve, your mentor videos your um, favorite famous people videos, your favorite people lifestyle videos. I watch a lot of amazing Beverly Hills housing, housing video from a real estate, my favorite real estate guy. And because I want to be there, I want a super cool house on Beverly Hills. With a, I, I really love modern and stone. It's kind of tricky. It's a really hard to explain how it's possible modern with stone. It's you can find in Beverly Hills. It's pretty expensive. That's why I'm watching there, and it's amazing because it includes the technology and old materials. It's so cool, and I totally love it. And and you need to stay videos. You need to focus on a lot of videos. Start stop watching TV. Do not watching TV. It's totally bad usually an average American watched at least five seven hours of TV if it's not watching like my mother she's listening to TV just switch on the TV and let up all day just somebody is talking in the room that's worse because a TV they use um, um, the terrorism's psychology they won't keep you um, glue on watching those stuff with the really scary things on bad things at least every time there is more than 30,000 homicide suicide in your uh, in one day just on a TV there's our data it's not my thoughts it's <laughs> it's statistics so do not watch TV or radio or 
um, advertising social media just watch what you want just influence yourself but and what you need and this is not only just one day not the other day not just every day at least four six hour a day just bombarding yourself when you're sleeping put listen something listen relaxing music re listen lucy lucid dreaming lucid dreaming is so impressive you it's like living another life why are you not experimenting the, all those things start to meditate listen relaxing music listen ad music that's super cool listen to all those positive things doesn't listen before you go to bed why are you watching netflix and movies why before you go to bed this is a, a really cool recipe before you go to bed you need to listen um 50 minutes of classic music or nature like ocean uh, wage like um what's the other the nature the forest sounds that's super cool and you start to be more relaxed you start to be more calm you start to go deep in yourself start to thinking a lot of things and you start to um kind of image your tomorrow's life and tomorrow means later in tomorrow or to be in the next 10 years so you need all these tools to influence yourself in a better way my opinion is i'm bombarding yourself especially in this last period at least i'm doing five hours at least five hours when i'm working and listen affirmation you affirmation i explain again you affirmation not i am affirmation i meditate in the morning I write my um, my goals every day. The important things you have to tools are reading, watching, and listening. You have to incorporate all your sense and um, to be more influ. You need to be influenced in your choice that you're choosing. So you need to kind of shift and not what other people want you to listen but you what you want to listen and the tools i said again are audios books and uh what's the last one videos and there's a lot to talk about this but i want to close like this there's a beautiful amazing helping i get some fish right now i don't know we'll see the next hours and hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day.